Hi, today is a continuation of my previous video where we discussed about half wave electrification. Today the main focus will be full wave electrification. Therefore, as we, therefore as we start we need four diodes. You're going to use four diodes. Four diodes. We're going to use uh, one load. We need one one power source and sensors. Therefore, for the diodes, we go back to library. We are using electrical library, specialized power systems sources we need a voltage source here yeah? the parameters as we did in my previous video for the half wave electrification we're going to use peak amplitude of 230 but by sqrt to get mrs for the frequency we need 50 We go back to library we need four four diodes we go to power electronics you pick diode okay then for the diodes you rotate them you rotate them to make sure that the anode is connected to the positive terminal although in full wave electrification it doesn't it doesn't matter even if you connect this side to this side still it will be functional you double click on the diode you unselect the measurement port because you are not measuring anything this one is on d1 we need d2 there d3 and D4. There are so many ways, there's various ways of uh, uh, of modeling a full wave rectification. For me, I prefer this way. You connect D1 to D2, D3 to D4. Then you connect power source. I can connect power source here. Then negative, you connect it here. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Then you connect these two, D2 to D4, D1 to D3. Those are four diodes. One load, one, we need one load at sensors. Therefore, you go back to library, you go to passive, you select a resistor RLC branch, rotate, double click, make it a resistor, use 230, you can use in the value here, then you connect these two. The top section, this side to bottom section. These are four diodes with one resistor here. This is my load. This is a 230 volts. Then, then we need current current sensor. You go back to pass. To specialized power systems measurement and sensors you select current current is a drew variable therefore you have to connect it through the circuit this is a measuring port that needs that needs to be connected to scope if you know the block by name you can just type scope 
You see, I'm just typing the name of the block if you know them by name. Then I need another voltage sensor to measure the V load and V in. Go back to library. You select a voltage measurement. You connect one across the load. Okay. Then you need this to be V load. And lastly, you copy this. Rotate Control R. You can see positive and negative. Want to swipe? You Control I. Select this one, it's Ctrl I to interchange I and positive, then Ctrl R again. You can see now positive is on top side. Okay. You can make your model become more neat than mine. Then we need this one to go to scope. I can use uh, go to, can use this one. We're going to use these blocks later in the video. But right now, let me just use it. They are used to make your, your model become organized more neat. If you type go to, you can see now, for, this one is used to, it's like a connection between, instead of having a branch from this point, Instead of is let me let me first of all instead of having a branch from this point all the way to here, you can use this one as a terminator. Therefore, the the V goes inside A. This, this is the name of this block. I can give it maybe V in. V in. These two they should have the same name. V in and V in. They should have the same name. I will use more, more of them in, in the upcoming videos. For you to get this goal, if you're curious where it is, just go to Simulink. Simulink here. You go to Signal Routing. We have a go to and a from. This means the signal go to certain place. Yeah. Therefore, what else you need? As I said, we are going to use a power GUI because our kit is already defined. Then we need to go to scope, gear section, layout, make sure there are three of them. Access scaling, let's use auto. Okay. Then say, okay. Right click, select style. Here is where you can define. For example, I can say, I can say for the first one, use yellow or red. For the second one, use maybe blue. For the third one, use maybe yellow. You can be able to define different style of each graph. Let me use, yeah, yellow is okay. So that the red one be the first one is uh, yellow second one we have used red third one is yellow apply okay that is just having a scope with a style these are four diodes i think we are done four diodes one load one power source sensors are here three of them we are done with that then you can run your simulation. Go to scope. Oh, it didn't, it didn't update. Okay, fine. Use the x axis. Not, not y axis. We need x axis zooming. We want to zoom along x axis. Yeah. <coughs> Control Z. Okay, let me, as you can see, let me, let's have a full wave here, like that, then I go back to x-axis, this is y, 
we need x a section yeah as you can see now we have a full wave rectification because we our sine wave alternate from negative to positive back and forth but we see now our v out is we have only positive side we don't have a negative we have eliminated negative by this we are just getting the positive side of our of our v in therefore they said make it a habit of renaming renaming the signals here so that you can be able to do a proper comparison that is how we model a full wave rectification okay in now in our next video we are going now to go deeper using other switches especially mosfet and igpts therefore stay tuned as we go deeper into now power electronics thank you subscribe and share my video